about to interview Zena, the tea mistress. She's amazing. She created this beautiful shop and she believes in tea ceremonies for connection and transformation. That's just my jam. She has a shop called Magic Hour that we're standing in front of. And I'm going to interview her right now. So come join us. My name is Zena Muzika. I'm the founder of Magic Hour, and Magic Hour is a tea and transformation company that brings spiritual rituals to your home um, so that you can infuse your life with health and wellness and also um, create ceremonies of connection with those you love. I am so excited to be having tea with Lisa as she's going on her transformational journey. I can't believe everything she's done. She's so brave and courageous, and I watch with such admiration and so I'm so excited to give her a cup of comforting tea because I think she's been through it and I think a cup of tea is just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> okay, so Lisa, yes. you're on this amazing spiritual quest where you're trying everything, yes. right? So what I love about tea ceremony and the idea of tea as ritual is that tea flows and as long as we're flowing, our lives are flowing, right? So the subconscious mind doesn't understand words really or numbers, it understands symbols and it understands ritual. So our subconscious mind, when we're pouring tea, it's a moving meditation that's visual. And I'm a very visual person. So yes, I sit with my eyes closed and do my meditation in the morning, but this is my meditation for life. This is actually what makes me understand that the universe is in flow and as long as I'm in flow with the universe, everything works and somehow my subconscious understands it through tea. I spent a lot of time in Japan and they said, you know, tea was the, for the soul. Absolutely. Yes, coffee Absolutely. was for the human, tea was for the soul. Absolutely. Oh God, I, I always it. say coffee gives me courage, <laughs> yes. but tea sustains me. Yes, absolutely. So, absolutely. so um, I really wanted to create something that was ritualistic around being together and being present. And so Magic Hour is based on sunrise and sunset when um, those are the magic mm -hmm. hours for photography. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's a point of reverence where everybody actually goes and stares at the sunset or goes to watch the sunrise or we actually stop and it feels like time stops. So my tagline is time for infinity mm. because if we can make time for infinity, it seems like our lives expand. So when you're in flow, yes. um, in a flow state, you basically are in a state where you're not looking at the clock, you're not focused on, you know, a chore, you're not you're not slogging through. Everything seems to expand. When I'm writing, I get in the flow and I go, oh, that was probably an hour. And I'm like, wow, five hours went by yeah. when you're really in the zone. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to read yes. your book. Yes. And writing does that for me. Um, mm -hmm. But tea and actually serving tea, it makes me feel like I'm my ego is gone and I'm invisible. And it's mm -hmm. about the service of someone else. Because I feel like as we're all experiencing the world and our own struggles and we're all going through our own stuff, we forget that other people are suffering probably more. Sometimes we think we're like the ones suffering the mm -hmm. most. And as long as I'm serving other people, I start to become invisible. Time seems to expand. And all of a sudden, you know, we've been in a two or three hour tea circle and it's like nothing, ha like no time passed. Mm. It's amazing. It's the infinite. And it it's is. hard to describe unless you're in it. But um, I don't think time's linear. I think time is expansive. Yes, and, and so just bringing community together is something also with tea ceremony because it's so gentle on the soul. And I think it brings out, you know, something special in people just like this. How can Absolutely. you not be peaceful Absolutely. and be in the flow? And Absolutely. There's no side effects other than better health, clarity, and more connection. Mm. So. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm taking that home with me. This is, oh, wow. I, yeah, I started out as an aromatherapist mm. and I was studying herbal medicine in Peru. And what haven't you done? <laughs> you know what? People say, how, how do you get so much done? And I say tea, like mm. really tea sustains me. It gives me yes. so much energy and, and it opens you up. It opens and it you bring, up. It brings people together and there's an instant connection that forms. And in a fractured world, yes. we need more togetherness. We do. You know, there, there's so much divisiveness and, and this divide and conquer sort of mentality. And I feel that if 
if we can just get together for a cup of tea, we can definitely shift the vibration of the planet. And with that, I am so grateful I got to sit down and have a cup of tea with you. To you, my darling. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Mm. When you get together for a simple cup of tea, you can shift the vibration in your life. It was wonderful enjoying this time with these three fascinating people. Zena showed me how she creates connections with tea. Ben told me about his morning ritual. And Brianna shared how she creates boundaries. All of them remind us that when you are consistent in your life, you can transform. How would your life change if you explored these ideas? I invite you to be consistent with your personal time, create your day, and make shift happen.